everybody and welcome to another video here at thebugnut.com. I just want to uh, bring you up to date with what I've been working on uh, on Project Super 71. So we're working on the Napoleon hat and we were working on the bottom side. We had this whole uh, chassis flipped upside down and we were working on the lower portion of the, um, of the frame head. And then now we have it right side up. We want to fix it and we want to fix the Napoleon hat ends. Now, the main portion of the, the Napoleon hat is very solid and in good shape. The ends, however, not so good. So both sides have a lot of wear and tear, and holes and rust. So we want to fix that. Now, they don't sell, this is a Super Beetle. So this piece, the Napoleon hat for the Super Beetle is a lot of money. So if you're trying to stay on budget, there's some different things that you can do. I'm going to fabricate my own uh, ends for the Napoleon hat and I figured it definitely keeps me within my budget. And again, the worst case scenario, if I fail horribly, then I can buy the piece. Um, so it depends if you have the money or you have the time, figure out what's best for you. This is just what I've done. You do whatever works for you. Anyway, we flipped it over. We know that both portions of this Napoleon hat are in terrible shape. Um, what I did was then we, we measured everything out First, before we cut anything on the Napoleon hat, we got out our cardboard and our tape, and we made ourselves a nice mock-up of what we wanted to build. We measured everything twice, laid it all out, made the corrections, and then we had a nice piece to work with, and there's pictures of this uh, before we started to work with it, um, so we knew what we wanted to build before we cut things off, because we want to be able to measure from the original pieces. So don't remove those pieces until you know they're ready to be getting you know, thrown away. So from here, we laid this all out onto a piece of 16 gauge sheet metal and we created, um, this is for the other side, that's for this side over here. Now, this is in the middle of being completed and what this is, it will be the, um, it will be the uh, Napoleon hat end for the driver's side. So I started on the passenger side. So I'm gonna show you where we are with that right now. So we measured everything out. I like to mark things off with tape and then use my angle grinder to cut through uh, the metal. And then I use my, um, I use my uh, uh, air chisel to break all the welds. So the welds have all been broken. We cut this and then we were able to remove, this is the bad piece of metal on the Napoleon hat. It's full of holes, kind of like Swiss cheese. And um, yeah. We don't need this anymore, but we can keep it as a reference. So try not to destroy it if you can when you take it apart. Um, it definitely helps to have around because you can look at it and see what things you need to tweak later on. So try not to destroy it if you can and save that. Next up, we took our piece, we made what we needed to, and then we custom fit it for this section of the Napoleon hat. The end result, we've seen pictures already, is something like this, okay? Now this is the homemade Napoleon hat end for the passenger side on this Super Beetle. Um, everything's been custom fit and you can see we now have a very nice replacement end for this. We'll be able to go in, clean this up just a little bit more, weld this all in. But before we do that, we had to make one more piece that you don't want to forget about. And that is, uh, and I've lost it already, here it is. This is just a piece that goes inside so that when you crank those bolts down tight to the body of the car, you don't crush anything. So you need another piece of metal. I made this one actually out of, I sliced off a piece of this exhaust pipe to the right thickness. Got out some pliers, bent it into a shape that we need, which is basically a peanut, okay, or figure eight. That will go over where the bolts go. And then your new replacement piece that we've made We'll go over top of that and we line up everything and we're going to weld this all together. So um, I'm very happy with the way this turned out. We got to do the same thing for the driver's side. We're going to, again, we already have the mock-up. I just reversed it. We've bent it up. We're going to finish this piece. We'll make another um, crush gasket or whatever you want to call this. Uh, for the other side and then we will create the driver's side and when we're ready we'll have all of our pieces measure everything 
We'll weld it all up, make it nice and solid, nice coat of seam sealer on all of the welds, paint this nice and clean, and then we'll be able to move on to the floor panels. Or, uh, so the floor pans are an exciting piece of the project because it always looks good when the floor pans are installed on your chassis. So that's where we're at right now. I hope uh, you learned a little bit and you can tell what we're doing here on Project Super 71. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you online.